I'm Adam Wood. I'm a uh, instructor, trainer, and technical diver based in the UK. I started learning to dive when I was 12 years old and moved into teaching people to learn to dive. Through that, I found a passion in dark, deep technical diving. It was away from the world, it was something else that nobody else could experience. There are lots and lots of early mornings, there's lots and lots of late nights. To leave early and make sure that we get there with a decent amount of time is, you know, it's just part and parcel of what we do. Yeah, I like to think of myself as an adventurer a little bit. I don't, you know, go out of a way to do anything that's too dangerous, but we do like to be on the extremes of our sport. After all, being underwater is a, it's an activity where you're on the edge. It's a life support system that you use it to go into a place where the human body wasn't designed to go. With my job, I travel across the world through South Africa, into Asia, um, America, Canada, and all around the UK and Northern Europe, diving in various different lakes, quarries and seas. We're kind of conditioned to think that the diving that you want to see is going to be all blue water and full of fish. We've got the most amazing diving off the south coast of the UK in Cornwall. Off the north coast we've got incredible wrecks, cold water with lots and lots of coral life, which means that there's some serious diving to be done. I run visually through the dive in my head. I make sure that every point of every dive I know where I should be and how I should be acting. Some of the big dives that we do involve days and days, even months and weeks of preparation in terms of getting the team to the location, flying in support divers, mixing gases, ensuring that all the kits are available and working. I like to make sure that all my gear is checked out so I confirm everything and I double confirm everything. There's nothing worse than turning up on a dive site without one of the essential pieces of equipment you require. The actual planning and the implementation of all the systems that are going to make the dive safe and, uh, and enjoyable are what, what the challenge comes from. The wonder of the underwater world is never going to stop amazing me, I don't think. That thrill of just being completely weightless, being neutrally buoyant and seeing everything else that the whole vast majority of the world don't ever get to see is special. Diving is just a way to experience life completely different to the way we experience it at the moment. We experience life at the moment in two dimensions forwards, backwards, left and right. When you're in the water, you've got now this third dimension, you've got up and down to deal with. You've got all the life that you're going to see as well, but just being completely weightless is, a, is an incredible feeling. The inspiration for technical diving comes from exploration. It comes from being out there in the field and enjoying and doing the activity that you love to teach. Diving the kind of dives that they want to aspire to, doing the things that they aspire to. You need to be a leader and somebody in the forefront of your sport. Diving is a whole community in itself. In technical diving, we always dive as a team. You know, we get the team together, we go out, go into a nice pub somewhere, have a nice meal and a few beers and Get to know everybody in that location that you dive in. A whole bunch of people that have got the same, the same love for the same sport. It's quite an intense environment. Everybody's really focused on what they're doing. We spend a bit of time, you know, getting away from it. I'll take a stroll along the beach, maybe have a bit of a campfire and just relax. It's really important to me to use an established brand. I can rely on it when I'm in the most harsh environments. The guys that go out and make these products are the people that dive in these products on a regular basis. And we go to the depths that people can't imagine on a life support piece of equipment that's designed for us particularly. You know, this is as close to being in space as you can possibly be. Apex represent a brand that's high end, that deliver quality. The products speak for themselves in terms of their performance. 
They work in the most demanding of environments. The design goes hand in hand with the technology to mean that their product is second to none. A lot of engineering goes into making something so simple but works so well. We dive in some very unforgiving, very dark, cold environments and the Apex products are the tool for the job. They're designed for that purpose. They're designed with cold water in mind. They're designed with all the tools that mean that product performs to its highest capability in that environment. Their kit, then their development, make our job as technical divers that much easier. I don't know there would be much life after diving, to be honest with you. It's such an enormous chunk of what I do and how I base my lifestyle.